right, seventh grade, lesson 21. Um, this is on prime and composite numbers, and then also we're learning about prime factorization, okay? So let's talk about prime and composite numbers. Do you remember the dif difference, Isaac? Uh, yeah, I think prime was the one where only it and one can go into it. You're exactly right, okay? So what a prime number is, is a factor that has one in itself um, in a problem. So for example, um, if I was to look at numbers one through 10, okay? All right, I'm gonna pick 10 just to show you something, okay? If I were to ask you the factors of 10, what I'm asking you is what times what equals 10? And so I would ask you, what are the factors of 10? Well, I'm asking you what times what. So let's think of two. Two times five, that goes into 10. Anything else, Isaac? Uh, um, yes, no, no. One more. Oh, 10 times one. 10 times one, a simple one, right? Okay, so as you can see, for the factors of 10, we have one, two, three, four numbers that go into 10, right? Okay, and so when you're talking about a prime number, it's actually not 10, okay? So let me pick a prime number, okay? A prime number would be like seven, okay? Can you think of something, something times something equals seven? No, there's seven times one. Just seven times one. So. When you can only think of seven times one, or the number that you're working with times one, then you know that that number is a prime number. And so the actual definition is a prime number has exactly two factors, one and the number itself. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and a composite number has more, three or more factors. And as you can see, um, this one has one, two, three, four factors yeah. that go into 10. Okay, so that's the difference between prime and composite. All right, let's look at the rest of these numbers. We said that seven was a prime number. I'm gonna put a P. 10 was a composite number, meaning it could go, many more factors could go into 10 than just 10 and one, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's look at, we'll come back to one in just a minute. Let's wanna look at two. Prime no, is two a prime number or a composite? Uh, it's a prime. Prime number, why? Because it's only two times one. So two times one. one. Nothing else, like something times something could equal two, except two times one. Okay? Let's look at three. Uh, prime. Very good. Four. Composite. Composite. Why? Two because times two. And two one. times two and four times one. So that's one, two, three, four factors. See that? Mm -hmm. All right. What about five? Prime. Prime. Six? Composite. Composite. What other numbers other than six times one? Three times three. Three times three. Oh, times, no. Three times two. Three okay. times two. Very good. All right, let's look at eight. Uh, uh, composite. Composite, why? Four times two. Four times two, and then eight times one, and then nine. Uh, prime. I mean, prime. composite. Composite. Okay, why? Uh, three times three as well. Three times three, and nine times one. Okay? A lot of times people think that odd numbers are prime, and even numbers are composite, but that's not true. Nine is an odd number. Okay, but three times three and nine times one go into that. So it's not true. Some people will actually just assume that, but it is not true. All right? Now, let's look. Oh, I was going to come back to one when I was talking about one, two, three, or five. One is neither prime nor composite. Okay? So it's not considered either, just to let you know. All right? Now, um, if I told you to list the numbers that are composite, from 40 to 50, which ones would you list? 40, okay, 42, 42, 44, 44, uh, 45, very good, uh, 46. We know that 46, all the even numbers will work because two yeah. will go into 46, even numbers. 46, 48, 48, 49, 49. 50. In 50. Excellent job. He got them exactly right. Okay? Good job. Now, let's talk about something called prime factorization. All right? And there are two things that I'm going to teach you about prime factorization. Okay? Basically, what you're doing is taking any number that I give you, 
and learning to factor it all the way down to prime numbers. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I were to take the number 14 and I wanted to factor it, meaning this times this, and get it all the way to just prime numbers. Okay? So we're going to do something called a factor tree. Okay? Yeah. And so I'm going to draw a tree like this. Okay? And I'm going to ask myself, what number will go into 14? The highest possible. You, yeah, you have to choose it. 7 times 2. 7 and 2. Okay. Then you ask yourself, can I break down 7? No. No. Okay? And can I break down 2 into to, um, no. more prime numbers? No. So what you do is that is our prime factorization for 14. Mm -hmm. 2 and 7. All right? Let's try another one. Try a little bit harder. A big number. 30. Okay? And let's break that down using just prime factors. Okay? Uh, Think of 15 any. times 2. 15 times 2? 15 times 2. Okay? You want to ask yourself, can I break down 15 more uh, into some prime numbers? Mm -hmm. Using only prime numbers, something times something. Only prime numbers? Well, I mean, you can use any of them, but we got to well, eventually get them. break down. Oh, yeah, yeah, five times three. Five and three, okay? Does five and three break down anymore, or are those prime numbers? Those are prime numbers. Okay, so once you get to the prime numbers, you're going to circle them. Will two break them down? Will break down anymore? No. Okay, very good. So, our answer for prime factorization of 30 is I'm going to put them in order, okay? So, it would be two times three times five. Those are using all prime factorizations, and I can put times like that, okay? 2 times 3 times 5, and those are all using factors. Remember, these are factors, okay? And so these are prime factors mm -hmm. that make up 30, okay? okay? 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30, okay? So we've gotten it right. All right, let's try another one. 81. Gosh. Tell me what you think. Number. Oh, 9 times 9. Very good. 9 times 9 equals 81, okay? But are we done? Have we reached prime factors? No. No. So we need to break down 9, okay? What numbers will go into 9? 3 times 3. 3 times 3, okay? Same thing with this one, 3 times 3. And as you can see, all of these are prime factors. So I'm going to circle them indicating that I'm done, okay? And so the final answer is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Could you put 3 to the 4th power? You could and you'll learn that later on. Oh, okay? But that's fine. You're fine. Okay? So, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. Excellent job. Alright. Let's look at a little bit harder one. Okay? For example, 420. That's a bigger number. Okay? So how are we going to break this one down, Isaac? Um, there's a real easy one. 105. Times four. Okay, there's actually an easier one. 105 times 4. That, that just look at and go, okay, because it ends uh, in 0, we oh, know you could do not, uh, I don't know, never mind. 42 times 10. Uh, okay? Yeah. Anytime something ends in 0, just take the number that's before it and multiply it by 10. Okay. That makes it easier, okay? So now we need to break down these two numbers because they are not prime numbers. Yeah. Okay? So, let's break down 42. What numbers will go into 42? 7 times 6. What times what? 7 times 6. Okay? Is 7 a prime number? Uh, yes. Yes, so I'm going to circle it. Is 6 a prime number? No. No, that means we, we, we need to keep going. What times what equals 6? 3 times 2. 3 times 2. Those are both prime numbers. Okay? But let's go back up here because we never finished with 10. All right? What two numbers will go into 10? 5 times 2. 5 times 2. Okay? Is that 5 a prime number? Yes. And is 2 a prime number? Yep. Yes. Okay. So we've completed our tree, okay? And um, I'm going to write the numbers in order after I complete it. So the best thing to do is go in and cross them out once you've used it. And this little dot means times. 2, 3, 5, and 7. Okay, see how I did that? I used up every single one that I circled because that meant it was prime. Mm -hmm. All right, and so the answer would be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Okay, for our final answer, that would equal 420. So what this is saying is that these numbers multiply, they are prime numbers multiplied, to equal 420. Mm -hmm. All right, 
Now, what we've been working with so far is called the factor tree, okay? Mm -hmm. But I want to show you one more. So if you want to write this down, this is called the factor tree, okay? I'm going to teach you one more still using 420, and it's called the division by primes, okay? It's a little bit different. I actually do not prefer to work this way, but some people do actually like this one better. And when you're working with division, I'm going to write that word out, division by primes, division by prime, what you're going to do is whatever number they're wanting you to break down, you're going to put at the bottom, okay? And the reason why you do that is because when you're working with division by prime, you're going to be moving up, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're going to think of a number that's a prime number to divide with. And so you're always dividing by prime numbers, which kind of makes it hard, okay? But I'm going to start with 2 because um, it's an even number, okay? So I know that 2 will go into it, and 2 is a prime number, okay? So what will 2 go into 420? Uh, it'll go into 4 twice. Okay, and so 2 times 2 is 4, and bring that down, and then I would get 2 into 2 is 1, and then bring that down, and then 0 into 2 is 0, okay? I can't really go any lower because my chart is done, okay? So now we have 210. All right, what number can go into that? A, div a prime number. You're always thinking, what prime number can I use to go into the next one? Two. Two, okay, because it's an even number. Good job, Ozzy. You can go into two, all right? Two, we'll go into two one time. I'm going to break it down real quickly. Now I'm just doing qu just quick math. Two goes into ten five times. So 105, all right? What another prime number can you use? Uh, five. Very good. Isaac used a very good um, thought process. He knows that it ends in five, so five will go into it, and five is a prime number. Remember, we're using prime numbers. Five will go into this. I'm just going to do quick math. 21 times. Okay? Keep going. Seven. Seven will go into 21 three times. Okay? We're using a prime number still. And you want to keep going until you end with one on top. So what number will go into three? That's a three. prime number. Three will. Okay? Three will go into three one time. And once you have this one on top, you know that you are complete. You are done. Okay? Now, that's just the top of um, our pattern, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're going to circle every other number that's over here on the left. You leave the one alone, that just shows you that you're done. And then what you're going to do is let's put them in order. Two times two times three times five times seven. Okay, I'm just going to move that so it doesn't get in the way. All right, and so what this is saying is the number 420 that's written down here, if I use these numbers, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7, it will equal 420. And so we use a different method called the division by prime, and that is lesson 21.